guys, I just want to show you guys how I do my water changes for all the babies. Um, this is the rack that they're all in. You can get this rack at uh, Lowe's. They're about 80 bucks. So, and then all the totes I got from Walmart, they're about $2.97 a tote. Or you could get a pack of four for like $6.72 or something like that. But um, these are all the babies that are in there. I've got different sizes. I've got some on blood worms. But um, I'm going to show you how I do um, my water changes. So what I do is usually I take the bubbler out that's in there and I just sort of take it out. And then I grab the tote with all the babies in it. So and then I go over to my station. So let's grab a tote and go over to the station and I'll show you guys how to do it. So here I am. I'm at my station and I have a couple of things going. I have a bucket full of fish water that I have taken from some of the uh, fish tanks over there um, because they do better with fish water. I also put a heater in it and a bubbler. The heater makes the water a little bit warm because the warmer the water, the faster that they grow. I have my disposed bucket that I have to dump out after it gets to a certain full point and a net to catch the babies. So what I do is I take the tote and I empty the babies into the net and then I fill the tote up with warm water and that way they've got clean water for the rest of the night until I feed them again tomorrow morning. So these are my baby wilds. They're really small. So and the warmer the water is, the bigger that they grow. So, um, and once they get on to blood worms, um, the water changes gets a little bit easier, but you have to take the blood worms that they do not eat out. The reason you have to do the water change every day is because whatever shrimp they do not eat will get stuck to their gills and then they won't be able to breathe and then they suffocate and die. Um, so we're going to do the water change. Now as you see here, here's the babies, they're in the net, and then I grab a cup and I do about four cups of water and I pour it back into the tote. Do about four and a half. And then I take the net with all the babies in it and I put the net in and I sort of jiggle them out a little bit. And that's how you do the water change. If you have any other questions or comments, please just let me know and I will be glad to answer them. So anyways, thanks for tuning in and I hope you guys enjoyed.